What's up, guys? And welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We are in a place less traveled here. We are in the clock tower. Looks like we've got a, uh, a little page flying around. Do we see where he went? Right there. Bam, let's grab it. And the reason why we're here is because our final Dedalian key is right here in this corner. I wanted you guys to be here for this because we've been chasing these things around for age. Did he go downstairs? He went downstairs, I think. Oh, no. Where'd he go? This is where our Cross Wands Club was. Is there something downstairs? Did he go down or up? I wasn't paying attention. I'm going to try going upstairs, maybe. There'd be no other reason for us to go upstairs in the clock tower. But, um, yeah, we've slowly but surely been unlocking these. There it is right there. For the entire thing so far, you know, nearly 30 episodes at this point, we have been grinding, finding these things, and I can't wait to see... What it actually holds. Bam. Our final house token. Let's head back to our common room. Back home. Haven't been here in a while. There she goes. I love that so much. Ooh. The slithering. But uh, yeah, we've been collecting these the entire game thus far. And we finally it's have the enough. The Dalian Keys Challenge is coming along nicely. To be able to finish it. Here we go. The last house token. Time to see what's inside. I didn't even realize this was a full a full chest. Okay, it's gonna unlock itself. I'm pretty sure we're getting some sort of a There's the code. 0210131 yada yada. Do we get anything? Oh look at that. Relic Thanks house goes uniform. To the former headmistress, Upraxia Mole. Yes, King, that is what I'm talking about. Look at the fluorescent edging on this. The fluorescent details. Your boy is now. Basically, Prefect of Slytherin, but a lot cooler. We're going to go talk with Nelly, see what she's up to, and um, it's step one of a, a job well done. Today, we are going to be completing the final side missions, or at least getting a start in the final side missions here in the castle. We have almost completed all the missions in this game. Dude, this thing is so sick. Wow. Look at like the, the chess piece locking us Were in there. I love that. One of the Dedalian keys? This is one of the very wow. first missions. You turned out to be something of a hero. That we didn't got. You? We did. Hello, Nelly. Actually, I found all of the keys and opened my house chest. Oh, wonderful. What did you find? I found a rather interesting costume. Brilliant. Whew. Well, thank you for solving that mystery for me. I always wondered what those keys would lead to. I got a sick robe now, and you don't. Sorry, girl. The daily and key quest is done. I'm gonna be honest, I looked up a polygon tutorial that had all the locations. I think we were at like 13, 12 or 13 out of 16 keys when we ended. There were a couple that were in some pretty hard to find places, so. Had to have a little hub, but I'm gonna be honest, stunting on these Gryffindors and Ravenclaws is worth it. Just to kind of wrap up one other thing we had, another one of the like search around the castle missions. I'm going to be honest, these are my least favorite missions of anything. If you guys I remember Zenobia hit us up. Tracking down my gobstones. Her bullies had thrown her gobstones Hello, around the Zenobia. castle. We found all I those found as well. Gobstones. It was easier though. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. <laughs> well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? I kind of like them myself. I'm afraid I decided to keep them. <laughs> That'll teach you to stink up your classmates. What? You'd keep my prize collection for yourself? Yeah, I think so. Yes. What else would the King Find of Slytherin do, baby? Afraid. It's the end. I knew it. You're just as bad as everyone else. I'm a bully. I hate this school. You'll all be sorry when I learn some more spells. Well, I've already got the biggest, baddest, best spell under my belt here, girl. I wish you knew how many people I cast Devada Kedavra on to get these gobstones, so... Sorry, but I gotta be paid in some way. I actually feel at least a little bit bad, but, um, yeah, today we are gonna be taking on some of the final missions, the side missions and things. If we go to our, uh, I wanna pick, pull up our book. 93% of the way through the quests in this game. Obviously, some combat and exploration and stuff, but, um, we've almost 100%ed the quests, the, the main, you know, meat and potatoes of the game. We've almost got this lucky leprechaun overcoat. Really looking forward to that one. But it uh, looks like we've got seven more quests to complete. And we're going to see what we can do. Sophronia, what we got going on? Hello, Sophronia. That was quite the quiz you gave me. What are you up to now? 
good test of one's knowledge, isn't it? This is the girl from the library. I'm actually working on something equally interesting, but need help from a fifth year, so it's good you came along. The trivia girl. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time, even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. That's pretty cool. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret Depulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows Depulso, which of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? <laughs> According to what I've read, her signature us. outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? Sure. If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. All right, so we've got a secret room in the castle. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. Perhaps I'll make myself a copy. Yeah, it does help me. We're gonna have to use Depulso to be Depulso able to access it. That secret hall Sophronia told me about. It does sound interesting. We've got to find the entrance here at the base of the Dada Tower, and uh, yeah, it should. Should be kind of fun. I liked her. Maybe you eventually go back and figure out some more of her, her tests and riddles and things. So it's going to be down here at the base. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small uh, project. Uh, I'm on a small project right now, but we can definitely tackle that Depulso. in a bit. Oh. Okay, this is. This is pretty this must sick. Be the entrance to the Hall of Herodiana. The Hall of Herodiana. Never heard of her before. Here it is the Hall of Herodiana. Better go inside and find those puzzles. This robe is insane, dude. I wish it didn't take us so long to be able to unlock it. Herodiana Burn was as good as Sophronia said she was. I mean, obviously, we're gonna want to depulso. depulso this to be able to jump up. Okay. I like these puzzles. It's been a couple of them. Was it the that um? Chest. That was interesting. That wasn't too hard. What was better, that? Kate. Was it the second trial? I think it was the second wizarding trial. It was like actually really really difficult. Accio. Oh, we can accio these. Okay. All right. So we've got a chest up there, and we want to go that way. We're gonna want to. I don't think we wanted Accio. to move these yet. Okay, so it's taken me a couple of times, but we so we want to get up to this chest first, I think, and then we want to get through there. We could easily hop up here to be able to get across. We want the chest. We just don't want to link these yet. So what we want to do is put that over there Accio. and then bring it this way. We're going to bring this out. We're going to put some, um, I think we would have put this we want to bring over here. Basically what we want to do is make the three piece, but then make it able to sit here, which I think we should be able to get here. I think if we depulso, so. and then if we bring this out, because once you Accio. link it, you can't unlink it. And then we accio it back this way. Then we accio it this way. It keeps it in the middle. We needed it to set up against this, this piece right here. Otherwise, you could never get it in the middle. But now, oh, did we build this wrong? Can we jump? Oh, we can jump across. Yeah, okay. Oh, diamond jumper school uniform, that's it. Oh. I thought that was gonna be a, the, the piece that we actually needed, but I guess, I guess not. All right. I don't understand. Is that, what is this here? I'm not sure what that thing does, but I think we got it. Okay. That wasn't too hard. Wonder what's next. So that was just a, a bonus test, I guess. Ooh, now we've got more pieces. Oh man. Okay. So we can control these. I've got a feeling. Oh, hold on a second. 
These are off center. Okay, okay. So we're gonna be able to the pulso. Bring this. Bring it. There we go. That stops it. We can bring it. That's gonna allow us to get up here. Grab that. I wish there was a way to like hit us that way and we'd go flying across. Um and we can bring that there. That's where we need it to, to end. But it's not where we want it right now. Yeah, there's nothing we're gonna be able to do. It's just time to end it all. Sorry, man, you made it a, a long distance. So we're reset. Every time I see a switch reset everything. Good to know. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. We want to do what we did at the very start. We want to get out to the out to the thing, and then we're gonna be able to jump across. This is fairly easy. Not the most difficult thing in the world, also not the easiest. So if we get to this, then we can send that back. We can Accio this because we have access from this side. Oops. Accio. And we should just be able to jump right on across. That's the last of them. So I'm not going to lie. It's going to be difficult to give up this um, this new, you know, cloak that we got here. But Herodiana's cape. Oh, this is a vibe. Kata looks Assassin's Creedy. I mean, I, I don't absolutely hate it. I'm going to take our neckwear off here. Um, it's got a cape, a, a, a cap, and then the, the outfit, but you can't see that the hat or the cap if you have the cape on. It's, um, I mean, very different from what I would expect out of this era. Again, very Assassin's Sophonia, Creed, but I like it. I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? In the flesh. Of course. Behold. Oh, how grand! You'll look as majestic as Herodiana herself, the greatest Depulso master of all time. That was kind of fun. We'll take it. You're my second favorite hero! Second favorite? Ominous, how you doing, bro? Long time no see. Um, <clears throat> you've never seen me, but yeah, good, good to see ya. We're gonna head back downstairs here. We're gonna go right back down to where... We were getting started on that last one, and there was the kid that was right next to it. To we're gonna have to wait until the nighttime or the daytime. Project. And let's see what he's got going on. What's up, man? Duncan! You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. Kind of the man. I've had some good luck. I suppose it must seem Be that humble. way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a, a puff scheme. He doesn't like their tongues, does he? Surely you're joking. You can't <laughs> possibly be afraid of a puff scheme. It may seem irrational to you, but my experience with them has been most upsetting. They eat bogeys, you know. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. What's up with these raven claws? Uh, I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Anyway. To make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. I mean, I like the sound of this. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Yeah, the Ravenclaws, I don't know. They're supposed to be so, like, smart and 
not cunning. <laughs> cunning is it's more of a Slytherin, a Slytherin thing. Sounds intriguing. But I don't know. I, I just I feel like most of the Ravenclaws in this game with him or with the Gobstone Girl or even the um, the the Amit, the Ravenclaw companion, just none of them have really Im impressed me all that much. So we're gonna go find and enter the hidden herbology corridor, <laughs> which is not exactly where I thought we were gonna be going. We're gonna go completely outside of the castle. It's probably. I'm assuming it's gonna. Ooh, what the heck? It's gonna be kind of like a, you know, outside of the, the whatever you want to call it, the greenhouse. How are we gonna get down there? These dry oh. vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Okay, I'm. Um, In it to win it. The hidden herbology court. See, this is why I like the castle side missions. A lot of the side missions in this game are. You know. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. We're gonna take care of that real quick. But yeah, right. a lot of the the side missions are just kind of like, you know, go here, do this. Oh, we've got a troll problem. Go kill the troll, which are never that exciting. But here, we're like actually exploring new parts of the castle. This makes me a little bit nervous. I don't really think we're supposed to. Be here, person. Gonna be able to unlock ourselves a nice little chest, and then keep on going. We're gonna need. To, let's get Confringo, Lumos, on the Lumos. same setup here. Lumos. Seems the devil's snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Confringo! Don't really love the idea of getting into water and devil's snare together. That doesn't seem like the best strategy. Lumos. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Dude, this is amazing. Look at this. We've got coins down here too. Don't mind if I do. Confringo. Turn the lights on. Lumos. This has just been amazing so far. And oh, look at this. We're gonna exit into the greenhouses. So this is the real entrance that the old herbology professor would have used. And it looks like it's just a little trap door. Oh, we can go back down there anytime we want. Beautiful. All right. Cool. See, I love stuff like that, man. Just learning more intricacies about the castle. There's always some sort of a new hidden corridor, always something exciting around the next bend. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. No problem, bro. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is not gonna keep bullying Ravenclaws. Gonna for be good nice. When I show everyone in the common room tonight, this will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. I'm gonna be honest, I was always kind Thank of impressed by Ravenclaws. I always no, thought that might be the house that I would me. end up in, you know what I mean? Not really impressed in this game though, that's for sure. All right, we're gonna head out front. I believe we have a, uh, a couple missions out here, one of which I'm really excited for. We are gonna play in the championship of Summoner's Court. We played this in um, the Charms class. It was our very first Charms lesson. And there have been some random matches that would pop up over time. I would just kind of play them for fun, but I believe Charlotte Hello. is the best. Are you here for Summoner's Court? That I am. Don't expect to be as lucky here as you were in Crossed Wands. Speaking of which, care to lose, I mean, play a match? I mean, I'm in. Here we go. Of course, Charlotte. Then may the best summoner win. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get Accio on square. I like Accio on square. Ooh. Are these sucking the balls in to the posts? Accio. So we're going to have to watch out for that. Let's see how this works. Oh, she's going to stop it right on 40. 
So what we want to do is hit hers into it. And we hit ours into it. Oh, 50. That was so lucky. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Sting me with a billywig. I'll never talk that. Dude, that was ridiculous. I was trying to knock hers off and stop ours quick. Okay. We're going to be able to get her here. The thing is, is it's going to catch a piece of that. So we're going to want to aim a little bit left. I think right about here. Should curve it in. If that stays there, I am the luckiest person on planet Earth. Don't you dare, Charlotte. She got 50 there. Precisely as planned. Shoot, we're still going to have to make a move, man. If we stop it on 20, we win. Do we go for the win? Do we play it safe? No! Wow, you are good. I don't even know what to say. That was the luckiest one of my life. That one was actually really tough, too. There have been some fairly easy ones. <laughs> I'm not too proud to admit when I've lost. Where did you learn to play like that? I didn't. I play by it's intuition, intuition baby. natural skill and all that. That's been my strategy. I suppose it only gets you so far, though. Well, you've only one oh. opponent left now. I won't say more than that, but let's just say he's the best for a reason. Okay, we're going to have to come back. The sheer nerve taking them down. Uh-oh. Evangeline. Is everything all right? No, no, it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow who spoiled things. Was it what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. <laughs> Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline, Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck, unable to tell which bell goes where. I'm, I mean. It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black, taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all he does in his office, you know. <laughs> but then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells reminded him of his wedding day. The man does Break have a heart. sweat every hour on the hour, but mum's the word. All right, we're definitely putting these things Perhaps back. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. If there's one thing we don't like, it's Professor Black. So we're going to go take care of business here. We need to go find the music room. I didn't even know we had a music room here at Hogwarts. See what I mean? Like, every piece of this is, is teaching us new... What? New parts of the castle? How do I... We use frogs? Rebellion. What is this? Frog Choir. Here perch the slimy yet symphonic frogs that comprise the Hogwarts Frog Choir. These magical amphibians can sing in six part harmony and hold a pitch better than most humans. Impressive. Okay. So we're going to have a bell in here. Can we get up? Ah, the bells must be upstairs. Up top. Ah, found them. I'll have to get those up there somehow. Wingardium Leviosa, perhaps. Where are the bells? Ah, I see. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Sorry, Professor Black. I don't know what order they go in, but I'm out. One to go. I'm just gonna do them, okay? So we got one there. Oh, it was Accio. It was low. Get this in a spot. Well, that wasn't too hard. Evangeline should be pleased about this. And we're good to go. Even if Black isn't. I mean, I can understand how it would give him a headache, but uh, 
Hey, we found a new room. We got a new Hello chest. Before. We're good to go. So I've been talking about it the entire game thus far, but that, that right there is an example of what really blows me away. Like that room, I have so many hours into this game thus far. Never even came close to seeing that room. It's a cool room. If he thinks it's got a tiny side away, mission in it. Another thing coming. But they built out that entire room, that entire setup. Lane. Oh, you're a credit to and, you the know, school. Would never even I can't see wait it. to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. I got you, of course. All right. I don't know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. Got an rumpet horn to be able to put in the wall in a room of requirement. But yeah, like a, a whole musical choir room. Never would have seen that unless we were trying to finish every single mission. Ooh, I have not done one of these in a very long time. How are you doing, Mr. Invisible Chest? I'll take that. But yeah, they, they've just, they've killed this game. We're, we're almost through it. We're getting very close. Professor Ronan? You're my summoner's court opponent, Professor Ronan. Indeed I am. <laughs> Professors are allowed to have fun once in a while too, you know. Okay, I like this. Of course. I look forward to playing against you. And I you. I've been playing this for eons, so you haven't the chance of winning. How about we get started anyway? Let's do it. I'm ready. No time like the present. Okay, so if we if we beat this, I think we should... What? We want to roll the ball up onto this. And it should... It should keep it there for a hundred. And he straight dogged it right off the bat. All right, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do this. I think we can do this. But yeah, if we finish this, I believe. Come on. Oh, I took us both off, but that's fine. And there you have it. Yet another opportunity to learn and improve. We're gonna be fine, baby. We're gonna be fine. He's bringing a red one straight down the pipe to 50. And I'm going to see if we can knock this one off and, and take it from him as well. But if we beat this, we complete this mission. And I think that's going to give us enough XP. Knock him off. There it is. Clean. Sorry, Professor. I do There's a benefit to going second. You how to play like that. All right. 50 to zero. He's going for 100 here. Oh, he missed the 100. Honestly, this is kind of tough. I might even... We all make mistakes. If we just straight pull him all the way off, we'll win. I'm just going to get dirty with it. I'm getting dirty. Oh my god, okay. I messed up. Anyway, as I was saying, I think if we complete this... Oh, got him with that one. I do not recall That's going to complete this like summoner's court mission. It's going to give us enough XP to be able to complete the um, the final mission of the game. The, the feast at the end of the school year. So we're going to see what we can do here. If we can knock him off the 50 and get on the 50 ourselves, this should be all but complete. Don't let go too early. We let go a little bit early, well, but that's no. fine. Nice we still have a 100 point lead. So as long as we don't leave him on the 100, he's not even going to get there. Okay. Well, congrats on the win, Trev. That's what we're talking about. We all make mistakes. I'm going to see if I can knock him off. Akio. Try to knock him completely off the board. It didn't work. But hey. And there you have it. Yet another opportunity to learn and improve. We got the Delightful win, baby. to see such mastery from one your age. All right. Summoner's Court winner. And that's a mission complete. Well done. You've beaten me at my own game. Protégé becomes the, uh, the champ. I had a good teacher. A flatterer, I see. <laughs> Although I dare say it's not unwarranted. I shall accept the compliment humbly. As the new summoner's court champion, you have earned a token of recognition. Do not let it go to your head. <laughs> First student to ever beat him. And that, my friends, ooh, we got some Summoner's Court Champion gloves. 180 XP, that should... It almost brought us up to level 34. I was hoping we had that lined up nicely. 
Gonna grab some field guide pages. That's here in the kitchen. Another one back here. We've got to be close. We haven't been in the kitchen yet. There it is, 34. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this down here in the kitchens. This is where all the house elves get to eat and maybe, you know, prepare the food and stuff like that. Look at them up there. Just beating the meat. Making sure it's all nice and tender for us upstairs. All right, we're going to go back upstairs and let's go do... This is going to be bittersweet. The final mission of this game. We have made it. We have grinded, we have enjoyed ourselves, we have had exciting moments, we have had sad moments, we have had amazing moments, but this is it. It's like we've got a meat cheating a little bit. Our beast's final here. Learning to take care of unicorns. <laughs> I love those guys. We've got a boggart. And Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor Hackett. Her father. Or maybe the man that killed her father. Turned him into a cat. <laughs> Gotta love that. And just like that, the school year's over. Defeated some this enemies, lost some friends. Our students exemplify this is the, the end. bravery of Godric Gryffindor. Yeah! And now we can finish the loyalty Woo! of Helga Hufflepuff. Yeah! The wisdom of Rowena Ravenclaw. Hey! Hey! And the ambition of Salazar Slytherin. No Sebastian. And so, the winner of this year's House Cup. Excuse me, Headmaster, if I may. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts, not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework as a new student, no less. We took care of business. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits I'd say 100 points to their house. So this is where Dumbledore got it from. It was Professor uh, Weasley. Yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. Just rigging the system. I suppose we have our winner. Slytherin house, baby. It would have been cool <laughs> if they had a real house point system. I would have really liked that. Like, if you did side missions and things, you could get it to the point that you want, but if you didn't do enough, or didn't make the right decisions, you would lose. Granted, I think no matter what, saving the world and doing what we did would have got us here. Although there are a couple of bad endings, so. Could have switched it up. But there you guys have it. That, my friends, is the official end of Hogwarts Legacy. Obviously, we already finished the main storyline. This pretty much wraps up all of the side... It does wrap up all the side missions. There are no other side missions that we can do. Uh, obviously, there's like the, the running around, collecting things, getting the field guide pages, liberating the, the enemy camps and things like that, which is okay, but I'm going to be honest, is not something that I think would make good videos. I think it's something I might tackle on my own. One thing I do really want to do is look into the mods in this game. I've seen some clips on like Twitter and stuff of people flying around on Trek and whatever else. And I'm wondering if over time people are going to be able to get some exciting mods with different challenges and maybe even little story missions and things. 
I don't know how it's going to work. I know with games like Skyrim and, and things, you know, there were games built within games. So I'm kind of hoping that happens here. But we're just going to have to wait and see. So we may see some more Hogwarts Legacy content in the future. If you guys want anything else, be sure to let me know. Obviously, if we get any, you know, DLC or anything, it's, it's definitely... We're going to be all over it. But I'm just going to be honest, man. This... This is my favorite series I've ever done. Like, personally, obviously, we've played some really great games. We've got, like, a thousand episodes of GTA V. Love Red Dead Redemption 2, God of War, and so many other great series on this channel. But this was it for me. This was truly the most fun I think I've ever had playing. I played pretty much start to finish nonstop. I played, and then when I would be done recording, I would want to get back on and play more again. I read almost every single comment on every video that I uploaded, constantly checking Twitter and Instagram and things like that, reading you guys, seeing what you had to say. Like, thank you guys so much for the support. One thing that really made me happy is a lot of people said that this was one of their favorite series of this game on YouTube because you could see the passion and how excited I got about it. And that I was actually like a really big Potter fan, whereas, you know, some other YouTubers might not have been. Honestly, that really meant a lot to me. So I'm glad that I enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm also really glad that you guys enjoyed it because of that. You know, I, I don't know. I just I, I think this is one of the best series we've ever done. I had so much fun. And to be honest, I have no clue what I'm going to play next. It, it's not going to live up to this. Hopefully we can find something exciting, though. So anyway, I'm going to catch you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. You seriously, you amaze me. We've been on YouTube for like 15 years now, and, and this was one of the best series we've ever done in terms of fun, uh, views on the channel, growth on the channel. It, it's just, it's amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching. 100% missions completed. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.